just one particular pattern for now that I'm looking at. I'm looking at USD CAD on the daily. It is in, looks like a now an uptrend. The reason why I say it's an uptrend because we were making lower lows and now we made a low and now we're making higher highs. It has broken structure from this point right here. Yeah, I hate when this happens. So it broke structure from this point right here. Um, look, probably looking for a retest. It's probably going to go a little bit higher. We know we are. We probably. Oh, we're probably in this midweek reversal right here. We have had our five point uh, Elliott wave right here. One. Five point Elliott wave. We've made our ABC correction from this move right here. And so now it's about to start. It's probably going to range a little bit. And it's about about to start probably a new 5-point Elliott wave. Um, it's, a poss it's probably forming a possible head and shoulders. Not a head and shoulders, but a cipher pattern. What I see um, from this standpoint right here, this looks to be a... 382 replace retracement. Let's see if I'm correct. I am correct. The 382 because we have broken a low. We're going to use our Fibonacci expansion. We're going to go from relative high to relative low, back into relative high. We have a 272. Um, we're looking for a 786. for our end point and let's take up the 82 we're looking right around there um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna do this just to make sometimes I use the wick sometimes I use the actual Fibonacci re retracement alright I'm gonna go with that one right there let's take off this one so this is what I'm I'm looking at right now. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this uh, possible harmonic pattern that could be in the making here, right around there, and it is at a level where I see some resistance. I see a nice little zone around in this area. This whole thing right here really is a zone. So actually, it's it's perfect that it should retrace right on there. Let me change that color. So, you know, looks uh, very doable. Very, very doable um, here. We already have a level structure that I said before that has been broken right here. So we may come down, come down, retest, and then come back up, and then see what we do we have um, we'll see where our take profit would be uh, from let's go from C to D looking at our 382 618 levels so yeah very doable so from if I wait until we reach our D point and reverse looking at about a good 387 pips this is a daily time frame, so it's actually not bad at all. Um, what's probably going to happen is maybe a reversal, so it's going to take some time to get up there. Maybe could be this week. We have some news coming out, so we may hit this week. So that is my chart confession for this particular pad. Parallel, what am I talking about? It's getting late. All right, look at the DXY. See where we are as far as that's concerned. Currently, we are above structure. We have, we are, looks like we are forming a morning star. So most likely we're going to hit this cipher pattern here before we come back down. So it looks like it's mimicking um, UCAD. So we are in line with uh, the DXY still maintaining a bullish structure. And that's what I'm looking for, harmonics. Let me tell you, if you want to level up in your game of trading, if you want to 
understand where the banks are making the moves, where you can make your moves, understand some structure, some candlestick analysis. You want to make your life much easier. Price action and harmonics is the way to go. So that's my chart confection for this evening. I'm going to post this on my site. Stay tuned for the next video.